Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at what if Moses didn't exist. According to Abrahamic tradition, Moses was a Hebrew prophet, teacher, and a leader. He is considered the prophet par excellence in Judaism and Samaritanism. As the prophet of prophets, this is why God revealed himself to Moses. This can be found in the book of Numbers 12.6. With regard to Christianity, Islam, the Baha'i faith, as well as other Abrahamic religions, Moses is considered one of the most important prophets. According to the Bible and the Quran, Moses was the leader of the Israelites. It is believed that he was the lawgiver whose prophetic authorship is attributed to the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. Let's begin with his name. First of all, it is an Egyptian name. One argument of his existence is if he was the fabled leader of the Israelites, why give him an Egyptian name? The suffix Moza often appears in the names of many of the pharaohs. For example, Tutmoza, which means born of Toth. Another example is Ramoza, born of Ra. The biblical account of Moses' birth provides him with folk etymology to explain the meaning of his name. He is said to have received it from Pharaoh's daughter. We all know the tale that to escape Pharaoh's wrath, his birth mother wrapped him in swaddling clothes, put him in a basket, and set him adrift on the Nile. The Pharaoh's daughter discovered the basket and proclaimed the child as a gift from the gods. She called him Moses since she drew him from the water. To Semitic scholars, the use of Mose is an active participle, thus prophesizing that he, Moses, would draw others out. It is also a common belief that using the traditional Hebrew naming system, his name would have been Moshe ben Amran. Do we know which daughter of the Pharaoh and her name who raised Moses? Though she is not named in Exodus, according to the historian Josephus, she was named Termutis. However, within Jewish tradition, she is identified in Chronicles 4.17 as Bithia. This is unlikely because there is no textual indication that this daughter of Pharaoh is the same one who named Moses. Scholars hold different opinions on the historicity of Moses. One school of thought is that the biblical person of Moses is largely mythical. Did a Moses-like figure ever exist in the southern Transjordan? To date, archaeology can do nothing to prove or confirm either way. With the exception of tradition, there are no traces of him anywhere else. Therefore, it is doubtful that Moses ever lived. Then again, there are those who consider Moses a historical figure or at least based on an amalgamation of historical figures. They believe that there is ample basis in ancient Near Eastern accounts of such leaders and their lives overlap the oral tales. Sargon of Akkad is an excellent example. He rose from humble origins to eventually lead his people. His birth narrative is as follows. My mother, the high priestess, conceived in secret, she bore me. She set me in a basket of rushes with bitumen, and she sealed the lid. She cast me into the river, which rose over me. What of the Egyptian records? There are no Egyptian references to Moses until the 4th century before the Common Era, which is long after he is believed to have lived. There are also no Egyptian sources that mention the events of the Exodus through Deuteronomy, nor any archaeological evidence ever discovered in Egypt or the Sinai wilderness. Based on this lack of findings, there is nothing to support for the existence of Moses or the story which he is seen as the central character. However, according to the official Torah commentary, Conservative Judaism, it is irrelevant if, if the historical Moses existed, calling him the folkloristic national hero. What do you think? Did Moses actually exist? Was it he who delivered the Israelites out of Egypt and to the Promised Land? Was Moses a true prophet and the author of the Torah? Please share with us your thoughts. This brings us to the end of What If Moses Didn't Exist? Please like and subscribe to Traveler's Tales. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.